On my second attempt, I finally did it. Hello, my brother, this is Jokin. It's 1000 and reporting for duty. We're reporting for duty. Welcoming you back to another episode of Pokemon Coliseum. In the last episode, you saw me battle against Ein, but I failed to snag his Shadow Raikou. Even though I had a second chance to snag it, I didn't want to go through that phase. I wanted to snag it while I had the chance. And in this episode, you saw I defeated Ein. I have officially snagged it. it. I caught it in an Ultra Ball in the very second try. And it's done. <clears throat> Your struggle to get here was all in fame. The Shadow Pokemon we produced here already have been moved elsewhere. And that, of course, includes the ultimate Shadow Pokemon I created for the boss. <laughs> And the alarm doesn't get turned off. So yeah, he actually knows that he's left something down here. He's left the data ROM. Which is what he said that he erased all data of. What you need to do with that data ROM... Oh, oh god, there's an item there! Oh, frick. I have to go... Actually, no way, no, no way. I can actually go straight back down there and grab it. Let's have a look. Rui, get out of the way. Let's have a look, see what that item was. In case you were wondering which Pokeball I actually used on Raikou, I used a regular... Oh, I was waiting for this TM! TM26 Earthquake! You bet your sweet ass I'm gonna teach that! This, uh, this TM has 100 power, 100 accuracy, and apparently Melody can learn it. I want... To, oh, who would I want to teach this to? Uh, ay, ay, ay. Uh, I didn't think this through. Pot. Oh, Riptile. I want to teach Earthquake to Riptile. And I want to get rid of Bite. I know Bite has had lots of uses for me in the past because I had the chance of flinching my opponents, but now comes the time where I need Earthquake. But anyway, um, as I was saying, um, I used a regular Pokeball on Raikou. It jigged three times, but he escaped. Very next Pokeball I used after he knocked out my Espeon with a quick attack, he um, had an Ultra Ball thrown at him. He jigged three times again, but this time he got caught. As soon as that happened, I started the recording. And I, I, to be honest, thought I was going to be in that case scenario for a long, long time. Anyway. Oh, we got an email. Lab data. Hi, this is Net. If you find any data at the Shadow Pokemon Lab, please bring it to me in the under. I'll be waiting. So yeah, we're going to be making a returning trip to the under. The under. I seriously cannot roll my R's. Now, I know you're thinking, you're thinking, why aren't I going into the PC to heal up my Pokemon? The reason being is because I can go to Pyrite Town and do it automatically. It is a long walk. And you get to hear the snazzy theme. So then, I hope you lots have been enjoying this year so far because we're coming up to the end of March already, of all things. And I can honestly tell you, I'm a little bit surprised, actually, of how many years Chugga Conroy has been in his um, LPs. He's actually celebrating his ninth year. I think he celebrated it on the 11th of March. And I remember I did something on the 11th of March, but I can't remember exactly what. But yeah, he celebrated his ninth anniversary of doing LPs, because uh, his very first ever LP, I can't even remember the name of it, but he did actually say what it was one time. And, as you can tell with my short 
with my short-term memory loss, I've already forgotten what it was, and I only saw the video yesterday. Yeah, I only saw the video of him confirming his ninth year anniversary of doing his LPs. And he was mentioning how good of a year he has had so far with his Pokemon Platinum LP, his Splatoon LP, his Skyward Sword LP, which he's currently doing. And I just realized I could have healed up here the entire time. Great! What an idiot I am! Hey! So, yeah, anyway, as I was saying, um, he's celebrating nine years. Me, on the other hand, I'm working on my fifth year at the moment because I started doing my LP recordings in the year 2013. Yeah, no joke. I started doing my LP recordings in the year 2013, but my save data on Luigi's, on Super Luigi Galaxy, as you remember, had to be deleted because I lost all my save files on my computer, so I had to do the entire LP all over again. So, the very first LP that was officially complete was officially on April 2014, as far as I recall. But, yeah. That's when my LP, sh um, when my LP thing officially began, April 2014. And we are actually nearing April 2017, so, so it's like 2014, so it'll be one year in 2015. So I'm currently working into my third year of doing LP recordings at the minute. This is my third year. So I'm going to be celebrating my three year anniversary soon. And Chucky Connery is currently celebrating his nine, nine year anniversary. I know, it's bonkers, isn't it? How I started my LP recordings six years after he did. Anyway, let's talk to Net. Oh, Wes, how did it go? Did you find any data? Oh, now this looks interesting. Let's scope it out right away. Oh, hey. This data bomb appears to contain a list of shadow Pokemon that have been made so far. Ah, oh, but no! It looks like they've wiped the data! Wes, please leave this with me. I will somehow try retrieving information from this data bomb, even if it means going over it little by little. Wes, as soon as I discover anything, I'll email your PDA. Alright then, so at the minute, all of the data has been uh, wiped out. So at the minute, there's nothing on my mind straight away that we can do at the minute. We could explore stuff in the under, but there's nothing important in the under to do. There's nothing in Pyrite um, to do. And there's nothing important in the Shadow Research Lab to do now. I've got to avoid that trainer, otherwise it'll be delaying time. Uh, trying to think. Where else can we go where we haven't been yet or possibly not been to in some time? Oh, I know. Let's go to the fortune teller. I haven't seen her in a while. Today, I'm going to ask Fatine. What should I have in my fortune read? I said, what should I have my fortune read about? <laughs> that made no sense. That literally made no sense. I see. I see it. Deep under the ground, a swirling black cloud. I see it clearly. That black whirlpool of smoke is a new enemy. Go with caution. This one won't be easy. Um, okay. That doesn't necessarily help us because it's not exactly guiding us to where we have to go. I guess if we leave Pyrite. Uh, yeah, there's nothing new introduced. Um, do we need to go to Arcade Village? 
Do you know what? Let's go to Real Real Gem Tower. I think that might be where we need to go. I have a rough feeling. Yep, this is it. That was a lucky guess. Hey, statues of Pichudo! Do with them to be precise! And I've got to say, I love this music. I'm going to shut up and let this music play. And then the awkward silence and finishes. Let's see what you have to say. Hello, welcome to Real Gam Tower. Today is our opening day. So I see. We've been expecting you. Now please do go in. Have you been expecting us, really? But this actually is a very classy place at the minute. I think. Uh, I think I want to go right first because I think I remember exactly what was to the left. And it was not pleasant. Uh, that does not sound good. That does not sound good. Alright, let's go in here. That definitely does sound good. Uh, hi. I see you've washed your feet lately. I guess you must have... Stood on your foot or something or other. I don't know what to do. I want to hide, but there's no place to hide. And I bet there's actually nowhere else to turn either. Hey, He's staring into my soul. Quick, I'll hide behind his back. He can't see me there. Aha! Poor, your butt smells. Have you been washing it lately? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, all right then. It was to happen at some point. Ah, ha, ha. Your luck ran out when you showed up before me. Your savage adventure's gone, done long enough. I kind of stopped at the wrong time then. Donkey Kong, stop! We're battling Dakeem once again. Last time we battled him was at Mount Battle at Area 1 in the 10th Battle Area. His team is roughly similar, except now he doesn't have his Shadow Entei, because we snagged it. He's now got a different Pokemon in his team. And I'm not even, even going to mention what it is. He's actually changed his team full stop. His first Pokemon, Claydol, level 46, Ground Psychic type, Levitate for the ability, which means it cannot get hit by ground moves, which is really terrible. He carries the moves Psychic, Earthquake, Solar Beam, and Sunny Day, which is really terrible for Reptile right now. His second Pokemon, Whiskash, level 46, level... Uh, let me start again. Whiskash, level 46, Water Ground type, Oblivious for the ability, which means it cannot be attracted. With the moves Protect, Earthquake, Waterfall, and Ice Beam. This Whiskash is really good at defending himself against Grass Pokemon with that move Ice Beam. But, we got a Surf, and we got a Hypnosis. So let's do that. I know I could have set up a Rain Dance straight away, but it, I didn't in case he set up the Sunny Day. I realised I turned the volume down. <laughs> so Whiskash is now fast asleep. See, told ya. I told you it was going to set up the sunny day. So now my strategy comes into play. I set up the rain so he can't use solar beam. And then I put Claydol to sleep. What you gonna do now, Mother Stomper? Damn, I missed. Uh oh. Yeah, that one's only gonna hurt Reptile. Didn't do a lot, did a decent amount. Okay. 
So now I'll use Surf. And let's use Takedown on Whiskash. In case you're wondering with the Keen strategy this time, he will set off the Sunny Day first to then go straight in him using Solar Beam. Whoa, I did a lot of damage to Whiskash. Right, now his third Pokemon. Flygon, level 46, Ground Dragon Tire, Levitate for the ability. So, same again, it's the same ability, it's the same thing as Claydol. Weirdly enough, he does not have any Dragon Type moves. Don't understand why, but he doesn't. Instead, he's got the moves Flamethrower, Sunny Day, Solar Beam, and Earthquake. This is why he was actually setting up that Sunny Day, because in case um, Claydol fainted, the Flygon will be able to cover him. So I'm going to use Surf once again, and Hypnosis on that Flygon. Great, now my wartime moves have been cut to half. I don't think this is enough to knock out that Whiskash. It's definitely not enough to knock out the Flygon. Oh, it is, yes. It's knocked out Whiskash. Now for his fourth Pokemon, if I'm able to get it up, because um, the internet seems to have randomly closed down the tab. And it's not loading it up. Okay. That, that. Yeah, my internet is going really slow in case you're wondering. Right. His fourth Pokemon. Foretress, level 45, Bug Steel type, sturdy for the ability. With the moves Protect, Earthquake, Explosion, and Double Edge. This Pokemon is basically um, a, a defensive wall if you don't have anybody that has the move that's resembling to a fire type. Like Flygon, for example. But. Yeah, his main strategy is if he's low on health, the first thing he will do is use Explosion. So, yeah, I'm going to use Rain Dance. And just for the sake of it, I'm going to use Hypnosis on that Fortress. Okay, good. I made a sensible call because I knew he was going to use Protect first time. Because I knew he was going to make his flag on use Earthquake. <coughs> Pardon me. Now, the only problem is, the only Pokemon that can kill Fortress at the minute is indeed Riptile. So we're going to use Surf and take down on Flygon. He tried to use Protect again, but he failed. Okay, that did quite a lot of damage. Whoa, whoa! Whoa, Reptile, way to go, man. Critical hit. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Now, by the way, if you didn't knock out his Shadow Entei, he would have it at this point. And this would also be your last chance to snag it as well. But because we snagged it, instead, he has this Pokemon. Houndoom, level 47, Dark Fire type. Early bird for the ability. Which means he'll wake himself up early than expected if he's put to sleep. He carries the moves Protect, Fire Blast, Solar Beam, and Sunny Day. This Pokemon doesn't sound much of a threat. Especially if you're dealing with a Pokemon that's carrying the move Earthquake when he's actually using Protect. And somebody leveled up and I didn't quite see who. I think it was Psychic actually. Let's have a look. Yeah, it was. It was Psychic. So, I think straight away, without a doubt, he's going to use Protect, so I'm going to use Slash and Steel Wing. Whoa! Okay, I made a bad call. Uh, never mind, I got a critical hit with Slash! Ah, Just when I was thinking in my head, I would laugh if Steel Wing actually knocked him out. Okay. Uh, there's no point trying to s save Riptile here. Actually, wait, yes there is. Yes there is. 
I can just switch him out for Melody. And on Kapora's turn, I'll use another Steel Wing. Hey, buddy, you want to see my third Pokemon? He's a glass cannon, and he's going to knock you out. And also, he would actually survive from your Solar Beam without a doubt. That's the attacking animation of Solar Beam, and holy crap. <laughs> yeah, quad resistant to grass, because grass doesn't do much damage to Dragon as well as... <laughs> he was biting... <laughs> no, he was biting the king's butt. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> So say, ah, I got hit. Oh, your butt smells, mate. You best clean it off. But uh, oh, it was too, it was too stinky. I'm dead. Why did I, ah, why did I lose to this punk? <laughs> In all the time I've been battling, my own losses came at the hands of Master Nasku and you. Now take this. It's your passport to terror and despair. We've, we've obtained the Grin ID card, which is actually the green ID card, in case you're wondering. If you're thinking of turning back now... I, I missed out the comma. If you're thinking of turning back, now's the time to do it. Go home to mommy. Ha ha ha! I thought it was going to run out, but apparently it didn't. Um, okay. So, when it coming to that, I say sorry for... Yeah. I say it's time for me to call things an end to this episode. So next time on Pokemon Coliseum, we're gonna be exploring Real Game Tower because apparently the Cypher admins are actually roaming around in here. At least as far as I recall, because we saw the key at the minute. So guess who our next opponent is gonna be? Find out in the next episode. See you guys then.